No one wants to waste time or money while traveling and these seven apps are guaranteed to make sure that you save time, save money, don't get lost and don't get ripped off whilst you're traveling in Thailand. So make sure you watch this one right to the end because there are some apps you must already know about but there are probably definitely some features you don't know about for these apps. My name is Justin and it's my job to clear things up for you and make your life easier. Let's go. farm on board. I'm gonna go see the captain now. He'll let me steer the ship. Welcome to the M1. <laughs> Back to my man for a Bioluminescent plankton of Cambodia. The first website is going to be absolutely essential when booking buses and boat tickets and it's one to go. All of the local providers are on here and you can see all the times and all the prices up front. Sometimes other third party websites can mark up the prices where well, you can cut all this out by going straight to one to go. There's a link in the description, check it out there, it'll give you the best price and all the availability you need. Tuk Tuks are notorious for being expensive, especially in Bangkok. And this is mainly because the drivers can just make up the price as and when you ask them. So depending on how they're feeling, it's going to depend how much they charge you. You can cut all of this out by using an app called Grab. Grab is basically like Uber, but for Southeast Asia. So you can book taxis on it and also order food. Just like Uber, you know the price you're going to pay before you confirm the booking. This ensures you're not going to get ripped off. And it also makes sure you're getting a safe ride because all the Grab rides are protected as well. A ride in Bangkok is going to set you back around 100 to 300 baht throughout the city. And this is going to be much cheaper than just going to a random tuk-tuk and saying, hey, take me here. If you only use one app from this list, you have to make sure it is Grab. Number three and four are both under the same category, but having multiple choices in this area is beneficial. And the first one is Booking.com. Now, Booking.com was my go-to place when booking places to stay in Thailand. And because I use them a lot, I got to Genius Level 3, which gave me up to 20% discount on a lot of properties. Also, things like free breakfast and free room upgrades were also offered to me because of this. So here, it definitely pays to use one service more than another because you get the loyalty discounts. And once you're up to the maximum level, it makes it quite difficult for other providers to actually offer you a better deal. They also have a huge range of hotels and hostels around the country so never mind where you're going there's bound to be somewhere you can stay okay number four is agoda and agoda is like booking.com but it's more specific for southeast asia and like booking.com they also have a reward scheme but theirs is called the vip program and to get to the maximum level on this one you need to make at least 10 bookings within the last two years and that'll give you wait for it up to 25% off your bookings. And like booking.com, you can also get free room upgrades and free breakfast on some properties when you reach the higher levels of loyalty scheme. So it also pays to use this one more as well. Hmm, choices. I'll let you decide which one you prefer. Number five, now this is an app you definitely already know about because you use it almost every day and it's Google Maps. But it has a little feature that you probably don't know about. And that feature is called Offline Maps. With this feature, you can select an area of map you want to download. You can download this section of map so that when you're offline, so you have no data coverage, you can still navigate this section of maps providing you have a GPS signal. So to actually do this, first you need to open the app, click on your little profile picture and you'll see an option there that says Offline Maps. Click on that and then click Select Your Own Map drag it to the area you want to download and just below it'll tell you just how much data this is going to use hit download and once that's done you'll be able to use this section of maps even if you're offline so as long as you have a gps signal which is pretty much global these days you'll be absolutely fine so we've got two left to go and i'm just going to intersect here to tell you that i also have a full travel guide for thailand i'm going to link that in the description and at the end of this video it seems to me like you're planning to go out there so make sure to check that out that's going to give you so much more information as well Number six, and it's Google Translate. Now, you probably already know about this one, like Google Maps, but if you download the actual app, it has way more features than the online service. You can very quickly just use the microphone on your phone to do real-time conversation translations. You can also use the camera to just read text and get that translated as well. Also, you can download language packs to use offline. For Thailand, they do actually have a Thai language pack you can download, and to do that, all you do is go on the app, hit the language down at the bottom, find Thai, and next to it, you'll see a little download symbol. Click that. Just like Google Maps, it'll download, and when you're offline, you can use that language as well. So Google Translate has come in so handy for me, especially just the voice feature. You can just talk to it, and the other person can talk to it as well, and it translates a conversation for you. Make sure you download the app. Number seven is trip.com. Now, I like Skyscanner just as much as the next person, but it really only shows you the different flight times and a rough estimate on the price. You still have to go to a third party to actually book them. And trip.com has constantly been the best place for me to go and actually book it. They've always had the best availability and the best luggage rates on all the flights that I've wanted to take. Bangkok Airways was also consistently the best airline to use. Never had a single issue with them and also got complimentary snacks at the end of the flight and Everybody loves free snacks, but I digress. Trip.com also has like a reward scheme. So when you complete a booking, you get some trip coins back into your account and you can use them in the future to save on bookings. 
easy. So there you go, I've just saved you valuable time and money for your upcoming trip to Thailand. So do me a favor and smash the like button. It'll help out YouTube to push this video to everybody who needs to see it. Also, if you've enjoyed it, just hit the like button, subscribe and go and check out some of my other content. I'm sure you're gonna find some of that helpful as well. Make sure to check out my full Thailand guide. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.